Hello everybody, it's Greeny and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be creating two sims that are going to be part of the new challenge on my channel. We're going to be playing the finishing school challenge. Uh, also, I just want to mention before we get started into this, I am so sorry if there's background noise. There's like birds fucking outside my window right now and there may be cars. I I can't control it. I have There's nothing I can do. But anyway, that was the warning. Now let's get into this. I don't know if you just saw, but I grabbed a sim from the gallery. Um, Right now we're making the headmistress of the finishing school and it's really important that she has pretty much every skill maxed. And you know, if I was not lazy, maybe I would just, you know, give her the skills myself. But it's a lot easier to just grab someone from the gallery and then work from there. Um, so if you don't know anything about this challenge though, basically the basis is there's this old rich woman uh, who has a deceased husband and she essentially decides she wants to take in a bunch of young girls and teach them the proper old ways. Um, this challenge is very sexist, by the way. Obviously, this would not fly today. Um, <laughs> but wants to teach them how to be good wives, essentially. It's kind of like, almost like old-timey bachelorette, except the girls have to like learn skills before they're allowed to be married to anybody. Um, so this, that's who we're creating right now, the headmistress. Um, and I did have an idea of what I wanted her to look like. This is just a random picture that I grabbed off Pinterest. Like, I have no idea who this is. If you know who this is, like, let me know. Because I, I don't know who this is. Could possibly be. And there's literally no link to anything. You know how Pinterest is. It's like, people upload a picture and then, you know, where to come from? Who knows? There's like, no link most of the time. Anyway, but that's who we're trying to go for. Like, this prim, kind of... Just problematic, overly severe looking face. Um, I do want this whole challenge to have kind of a vintage look to it, and you'll see that later in all the clothes, um, and also the house furnishings. Um, just because, like I said, I feel like there's no way this challenge could be modern because it, it just would never fly. Um, but you know, maybe way back when, in like the 50s or 60s, that this could have happened, maybe. Um, but anyway, here I am trying to match the makeup a little bit more. Um, I still wanted her to very be very pretty, um, because she is going to be- we, I haven't picked her traits yet, but she is self-absorbed. Um, and I am just struggling with the clothes here, as you can see, but I end up on this kind of, like, little suit, skirt number type thing that's, like, granny enough that it works, but also, like, looks a little bit vintage. But more into Liana's character, and that's the name of the sim, by the way, Liana. Um, because that will be important in this challenge. Um, she grew up very wealthy, married wealthy, and she always had a really big passion for gardening. Like, that was her thing. Like, she just always had this huge garden, just was super into it, like, spent all her time doing that pretty much um, throughout her marriage. And, you know, she got really freaking good at it. Um, and as she continued, she found all types of weird new seeds, um, was just cultivating a bunch of, like, really awesome weird stuff in her garden. Uh, and one day she finds a cow plant seed, uh, and she grows it, and bada bing bada boom, bitch got a cow plant. Uh, she doesn't know what it is, she's feeling kind of funky about it, um, she warns her husband not to go near it, um, but one day he's too curious, he just goes into her greenhouse and takes a look and sees some delicious cake. And I'm sure we can all guess what happened next. Uh, man's died. <laughs> uh, yeah. And of course at first she was distraught over him, his death because they really didn't have an awful marriage at all. Um, she was happy with him. But after a little bit she realizes that this cow plant's udder's full and she milks it. And it's essentially she stumbled on a fountain of youth. It just needs a little human sacrifice, <laughs> one could say. Um, so that's when she realizes, oh shit, I'm gonna live forever. But where am I gonna get these people? Uh, and that's where the finishing school comes in. So essentially, 
the girls that underperform in the challenge or are not married before they become adults, um, you know, they work out for her. Uh, she just takes advantage of their shortcomings, essentially. Uh, one might say that's evil. Um, I might agree with them. <laughs> um, but she she just does whatever the fuck she wants and she if she wants to live forever she's gonna do whatever it takes to get there and she's one of the other traits that i give her is i think it's either stone-hearted or cold-hearted um essentially she just does not give a fuck about anyone but herself so yeah that's a little bit about liana's character um and i'm also going to be making the butler in the house um right after we finish up with her but, yeah, I don't know yet if the butler knows everything that Leanne is up to, because I'm sure, you know, after the girls are just sent away, she just makes an excuse like they needed to go home or something. Um, but we'll see if the butler knows what's up. But back to talking about the cast, I'm almost done with her outfits now. Um, I'm not opposed to changing the outfits for all the seasons. I probably will be doing that, uh, especially with all the girls just so they have uniforms that like, I don't know, are more or less keeping them warm. Um, not that they'll be outside very much, probably. Um, this will all be taking place at the Byron Manor, um, which I also will be uploading a build of that, which might be very long because, guys, <laughs> I'm taking my time with that. Uh, it'll be a lot, but I'm super excited to be playing with these sims, uh, and you'll be seeing the uploads of the girls also following this video, uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, here we are just finishing up. I gave her a couple different outfits just to keep it a little more interesting while we're playing, uh, and here I am trying to figure out her traits. Um, I was very torn. Also, you'll see I have a lot of custom content traits. Um, just, I have a lot. I don't personally think that EA gave us enough traits, like, at all. I don't even own all the packs, but, like, I just, I just like having more traits. It just makes my game more interesting. Um, so as you can see, we're giving her Stone Hearted. I believe that other one is Brilliant that we just gave her. And then I think I end up on Self Absorbed. Yeah, there we are. Um, and she doesn't... I didn't know what to do for her aspiration either, like, besides, like, what, you're evil and killing bitches so you can live forever, like, yeah, I just put leader of the pack because we're gonna be using the get-together pack, um, what is that called? Their club system, uh, for a lot of the meetings between, like, our girls and the potential suitors, uh, but yeah, this is her, I think right now I'm just trying to figure out her name. Uh, it took me a long time to decide because I really wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, but we end up doing uh, Leanna Byron. And now we get to move into doing the butler, whose name is Emmett Divine. Um, <laughs> I just kind of wanted like like a real character for a butler. Um, I knew I wanted a big mustache. Um, but that was really it. I didn't have a single, like, uh, what's the word? like a picture of like a real person I was basing him off of because that's what I do for a lot of my sims um because it just it really helps me honestly create sims that don't look exactly the same because I do that a lot if you if you give me the chance I'll do it <laughs> um but here I am giving him wrinkles but I didn't know how many wrinkles to give him because I wanted him to be young but old but young but old and I, I don't know that's the problem when you go in making a sim and you don't know exactly what you want you end up taking a super long time on something like you know the eyebrows like I'm doing right now <laughs> um but yeah here's me trying to find the perfect facial hair for him I thought I was gonna go for this um but I don't know it just that's not what we end up working with but now that I think about it he looks a little bit like Don Lothario and <laughs> that was not what I was going for but maybe subconsciously like my brain just went there I'm not planning for him to have any type of relationship with girls um that would be catastrophic for them because they probably would I don't know just just knowing Leanna, I don't think she would be a fan of that, personally. Um, but here I am, I'm trying to match, um, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I want to have like a very specific color palette uh, for this series, and I end up, it's pretty much like a 
dark turquoise is like the best word. But yeah, here we go with the mustache. This is this uh, the Hitler stash is no. Yeah, that one's better. <laughs> That's better. Uh, also, this base game hair, I'm pretty sure it's like a newer one we got, but like, damn, it fucking slaps. Like, I I love it. I've been using it on so many of my Sims. Um, but yeah, and also, also I didn't mention this when I was doing Leanna, um, but a lot of the formal attire is actually very formal because I'm planning to have a lot of parties where we'll be talking to all the suitors and all that type of thing. I say suitors like they're princesses like getting married it's they're not they're not princesses even though i mean all these girls are going to be very rich because i'm in my mind at least like their parents are paying a lot of money for them to like go to this like elite it's not like a boarding school i guess because they already are young adults but it's definitely not a free type thing like <laughs> liana d doesn't give a fuck about charity cases i don't think um even though maybe she should, because then maybe even more girls would be likely to come. But, I mean, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, his outfits were like a million times easier. I feel like the guys are always way easier. Uh, I don't remember what aspiration I give him. Probably, I think Jack of all trades or something. Or whatever that's called in The Sims 4, not The Sims 3. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're picking his traits now. Definitely wanted him to be a foodie because he's gonna be preparing all the meals for everybody. Uh, just, yeah, I just wanted to give him traits that would help him around the house because he's basically like head of housekeeping and he just takes care of literally everything because Leanna doesn't lift a fucking finger. Uh, but here I am trying to pick his name. I loved that spelling of Emmett. I've never seen that spelling of Emmett. I think it is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, not ridiculous, but like, it's just so extra, like, emit, emit divine, like, ooh, what the fuck, uh, uh, what a name. Anyway, here they are. I hope you tune into the challenge when we do start, and I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.